Good afternoon. It's Monday, November 29th, 2010. My name is Michael A. Weiss, and I'm commenting on a story by Dr. Sanjay Gupta on CNN, uh, which broadcast uh, last week, right before Thanksgiving, and it was about pharmaceutical companies paying physicians to recommend certain drugs to patients, sometimes whether they needed it or not. Uh, the report was very thorough. It also included a company which actually listed how much each physician was getting paid by which company and for which drug. So let's call my comment, blame patients for being a captive audience. Now I'm not disputing anything that Dr. Gupta pointed out because his reports are always extremely well researched, uh, fair, they bring out all points, but the one uh, perspective I think he did not bring out is the patient perspective. This is why. Myself, I am somewhat of a professional patient. I've been hospitalized almost 200 times, uh, had about 15, 16, 17 major surgeries due to my 25 year battle with an autoimmune illness called Crohn's disease. I actually even wrote a book about my experiences called Confessions of a Professional Hospital Patient. Now, this is not a plug for my book. I wrote the book in 2001, although it still holds up. It's a very funny account of what it's like to be chronically ill, both inside and outside of the hospital. But it does detail the patient-physician relationship, and therefore, I think I'm somewhat of an expert on the subject. So let me opine and share my thoughts, because I think it would uh, add some perspective to the conversation. Now, clearly, doctors should not be recommending drugs that patients don't need. Uh, and I don't want to address that because I have no proof of that. I'm sure some doctors do, some don't. It's like any other profession. There are great doctors, there are average doctors, there are unethical doctors. It's just like lawyers, just like barbers, just like plumbers, okay? But the problem is that patients put way too much trust in physicians these days. And therefore, anything doctors say, a lot of patients leave the office thinking it's gospel like, wow, that can't be wrong. My doctor said it. I have to use that drug. I have to get that procedure. And this is the perspective I think that Dr. Gupta did not include in that report, which I think he should have. Patients are now consumers. They need to be. Healthcare is becoming a business. And if patients exercise that consumer right, then they're going to double check everything. They're going to look to other doctors, maybe some friends, maybe even the internet, although I caution people to be careful. Uh, looking at the internet for advice because often people who uh, write reports or do videos and I guess myself would be in that uh, in that batch of people sometimes what they say is 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 very much dependent upon their relationship with a particular physician and therefore there could have been a personality conflict so be careful what you take from the internet but as a consumer you should look at everything so when you leave the office, don't just think, wow, my physician said it, so it must be true. Because keep this in mind also, as well-intended as physicians are, and I would like to think most are, they got into medicine because they want to help people. The system is so difficult. In order to help people, they have to run and jump through so many hoops where they get seven minutes with a patient and they have to do certain things. They're making less money and have to work twice as hard and hire twice as many people. They're human. They want to feed their families. They want to have a life. I am not passing judgment on them. They've helped me. They help me live a life. I'm sure they help you. But I think us patients, we patients, we can help. Because if we're not a captive audience anymore, pharmaceutical companies will no longer look at physicians for this type of marketing. They will look elsewhere to market their drugs. So please, please, patients, Remember, you are a consumer. Take away that captive audience label. I think it will help healthcare. It will be a first step towards healthcare reform. It'll start turning it into a business. And if we patients act as consumers, I think physicians are going to have to act differently. And these temptations to make extra money from pharmaceutical companies will no longer be there. So that's all I wanted to say. And again, my book, I figure I may as well plug it. It's Confessions of a Professional Hospital Patient. Uh, it's very funny. People tell me it's good for patients and their families. It's available at Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and also on my site, which is hospitalpatient.com. Thank you.